I'm Carlin with Robotronics and today we're going to be talking about how to use your animated McGruff costume. Here's your animated costume belt. This is the main control unit and there is the power switch right here. When you turn the power switch on, this LED will blink so you know you've got power. Here is where your battery is stored in this pouch here, and the connector for it comes down and goes inside this channel underneath. This right here is your voice modifier. We'll talk about it a little bit more in a little bit. And this right here is your MP3 player, and there's a, when the power's off, you can change out your SD card. You just push on it pops out and push in to lock it back in place. Here's your speakers. Uh, this right here is a test microphone that I'm going to use for demonstrating the voice modifier in just a second. Uh, that's not part of your normal belt, so don't worry about that. Here is the uh, cable that goes up to the uh, costume head and it plugs in like this and then you turn the ring to tighten it down and uh, then to release it you have to turn the ring the other direction and then you can pull it out. Don't try and pull it out without loosening that ring. If you purchase the voice modifier option to go with your animated costume and this is what uh, the voice modifier looks like. It's got two knobs. This knob is the mode knob, and here's the pitch knob. This one you want completely counterclockwise. That puts it into the mode where you can change the frequency of the voice. And here's your pitch knob that allows you to turn your voice up and down, which I'll demonstrate. So for McGruff, a deeper voice is good. Hi, boys and girls. Take a bite out of crime. Or for Sparky, a little bit higher voice is good. Kids, remember, if your clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll. And if you're like myself, I sometimes entertain myself with... Luke, I am your father. No, my father. The two of me be my father. Search your feelings, Luke. You know it should be true. Here's your animated McGruff head, and inside here is the head gear that uh, secure it to your head. There's a Velcro strap that comes across here that you can use to adjust the chin strap. Normally I like to uh, loosen that up as much as I can before I put it on and uh, then tighten it down. But if you kind of leave it partially secure and that helps keep it from slipping out. Uh, once it's on your head Besides just the uh, chin strap here, there's two Velcro straps on the side that can also adjust how tight it fits. And this will curve around your head. Inside here, we also have two foam pads that Velcro in and you can get further adjustment of how high the costume rides on your head by moving these straps either farther in like that will uh, make the costume head ride a little bit higher on you or bring it down this way and so there's quite a bit of adjustability in getting the costume head to fit the way you want. And then we put these velcro pads 
back in there. Um, these pads can also um, be washed. You can just a uh, really mild detergent in uh, water just with your hands. You can rinse them out and they're made with the foam that dries out really well. And then there's also one more pad right here that can also come out if you want to wash it. Um, if you're cleaning the head, a good thing to do is take those pads out and then get an alcohol wipe and just wipe down the plastic on the inside. And that will help keep your costume clean. Here is the fan for your costume. That's where you'll get your airflow and uh, blows on the back of your neck, which helps with cooling really well. Here we have the microphone for the costume. That's what, when you speak in the microphone, the mouth's going to move while you're talking. And that's pretty much everything. So uh, here's how we put it on the animated. I think it makes it a little bit easier if you lay it on a table in front of yourself and then uh, turn it around, slide it up over your shoulders like that. There's a uh, strap that comes around your waist, hooks together there, um, and there's straps here that you can adjust. Right here is riding a little bit high on me, so I'm going to adjust the straps down to where I like them. Like that. The uh, hand controller is around here, like that. Before you put on the rest of the costume, you uh, make sure that this cable someplace where you're going to be able to find it. I like to tuck it right there. That way once I get the head on, it's easier for me to know where I'm going to connect this. Maybe get this a little bit tighter to help stay in place. Like that. Uh, once you've got your trench coat on, then you can put your head on. Again, make sure that your chin strap's a little bit looser so you can get your head in place and then you can tighten it up afterwards. You probably, it might be helpful to have somebody help tuck the fur into the trench coat. You can do it by yourself, but it's a little bit easier if you've got somebody looking at it to make sure everything is tucked in and looks good. Sure, the mouse is in microphone's in position. Hi, boys and girls. Across the crime dog here. Like I said, if you have somebody to help tuck in the fur, that helps.
okay. Of course, the mouth moves when I talk, just through the microphone. But I also have this button here can control the mouth, or this button here blinks both eyes, or I can blink one eye or the other eye. And if I want to play some music, For me and for your parents is teaching kids to stay away from strangers. Strangers aren't people who look strange or dangerous. A stranger is anyone your family doesn't know real well. If a person has never been to your house for dinner, that's a stranger. If you don't know his kids or where he lives, that's a stranger. 